Good evening. How are you today? Thank you for being on time. Janet, Mario, Matiel, Elizabeth, Francisco, and Carla. Welcome to today's section. How are you doing today? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Nice, nice. Well. And you, teacher? How was your day? Ah, kind of uh, good. <laughs> Very long, but good. Okay. <laughs> longer mm -hmm. than usual but <laughs> i can't complain yeah and yours okay. I'm, I'm ready ready for for now ready for today's class yeah okay and how are you doing with the platform i complete the <clears throat> the weekly third weekly Ah, okay. Yeah. Good. I think <clears throat> that most of you have completed at least section one, two. Most of you have been working on section number three. Um, almost everybody has completed the midterm exam. But yes, let us know if you need help so that you can be um ready with all the things that you you need to accomplish in order to get your module completed successfully. We are here to help. So, si necesitan ayuda en algún ejercicio, podemos verlo ahorita, si ustedes gustan. ¿Alguien de aquí tiene algún ejercicio que quisiera ver? Uh, teacher, hmm? the, uh, yesterday we finished the um, third weekly. Or, uh, today, uh -huh, today, or today. Uh -huh, today we finished the third week of classes. Uh -huh. Today is earth section number 15. When when we are gonna 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 finish course? Okay, it's uh 25 days. So let me check here. The I think it's in June 6th. Let me Confirm that information. According to this, uh, we will be finishing on, yeah, on June 6th. Vamos a finalizar el 6 de junio. Si todo nos sale bien y no hay ninguna reprogramación de clases, que es lo que tratamos de evitar. Ok, teacher. Sí, sería el 6 de junio. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, and have you? Uh, I think that you are being requesting uh, papers. You've been requested for papers. The paperwork to for the next module. Uh, you say the document. Document. Uh huh. Uh yeah. The the. Como le digo, ya, ya enviaron el correo para... Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, they usually do the second or the third week of classes. You have to start the process to sign in for the next module. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's good that you're ready. And uh, any question in regards of any ex uh, exercise in the platform? Some, is someone needing help here? We are uh, three, uh, 10 classes away, okay? Luego de esta clase ya solo quedan 10 más para que terminen el módulo. Así que pues deberían de estar ya uh, más avanzados en la plataforma. La mayoría van bien, pero todavía hay un par que van atrasados y hay un par de que no han completado ni la sección 1. Entonces si tienen problemas para ingresar a la plataforma, Si no ha um, comprendido algún ejercicio, escríbanos eh, con tiempo para que no vayamos a estar a última hora y diga, usted nunca reportó el problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no sé si hay alguien que tenga algún problema para ingresar y hacer sus ejercicios.
¿no? Ok. Bueno, cualquier cosa estamos para ayudarles, así que pueden hacernos saber si necesitan eh, asistencia ya sea técnica o con lo de los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Para resolver algún ejercicio o indicaciones para ellos. So, uh, let's begin. Thank you so much for being on time. I recent the presentation that we were working yesterday. Uh, we were practicing um, how to give, like, uh, express regrets and give advice using this particular structure. We completed this exercise and this is where we stopped yesterday. So going from here, we will move to the next slide to continue practicing this topic. Um, so let's see. Um, in this, we have a kind of review of the structure that we were practicing yesterday. And it says, um, well, I can play the audio for the grammar box. Let me stop sharing here and let me share the audio with you. I think I'm, I have it here. I'm gonna make it bigger for you and Let's listen, and then you tell me if you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation. I'll be happy to help you. Page 103, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus, Past Modals. Use would have or should have plus past participle to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past. What should I have done? You should have told them about it. You shouldn't have hidden it. What would you have done? I would have called him. I wouldn't have sent him a text. Okay, so you have this in the presentation in the PowerPoint. And this is exactly what we practiced yesterday. Remember that we can use would have or should have and the past participle of a verb to give opinions or suggestions about actions in the past as we have been practicing in our in support material as well. So this is just to continue reinforcing what we were doing yesterday. So in this, we will complete the conversations that we have here, and then we're going to practice. We're gonna do this individually. You can work um, in your notebooks individually, or you can uh, work on your PowerPoint presentation. Remember, we're gonna be using the verbs that we have in parentheses in the past participle, and also the models. I'll give you time for you to complete this exercise and then we will check.
finished. Finished, teacher. I have a number, number one. Okay. Can you read it for us or you want to share it screen? I'm going to, I'm going to read. Okay, good. The cashier gave me gave me too much tank. What what should I have done? You should have seen something. You shouldn't have taken the money. Okay, excellent. A very good Matthias. Thank you so much for sharing. And you can see in this little square that your answers were correct. Thank you so much. Uh, volunteer for number two. Has anybody finished the number two? Okay, Maria, thank you. You should have, you should have something, you should have said something. You should, shouldn't have taken more, the money. Oh, number two, Mario. Do you have the number uh, two? Ah, uh, no, you're the Uh-huh, number the, the one is done. Mm -hmm. Está dando la respuesta de la uno. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, it, that one is done. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. eh, la number two. I, I ignored. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What you have done? Uh huh. I would have. I would have replied to the person in this take a minute. Excellent. I would have replied, like ed replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Excellent, Mario. Your answers are correct, and you can see here in this little square. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's see a volunteer for number three. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Okay, another, number three. I was watching a good movie when I when my phone rang. Well, sure, I have done it. You should have taken the call and the toll. The person you call back later. Excellent. So you say and told. Excellent. So thank you. Thank you so much, Francisco. That's it. Correct. So you have the answers here. So you got done, taken, and told. Excellent, Francisco. Thank you so much for your participation. Now the last one, I'm pulling you for number four. A volunteer for number four. Yes, anybody? Janet, thank you so much. Number four. 
we left all our strengths, strengths at the campsite. Campsite. What would you have done? I will. I will have taken it with an eight strong eight it a week later. Okay, let's check. Uh huh. The first one is done, then taken and thrown. Oh. Uh huh. Thank you so much for your participation, Janet. So let's see uh, the complete. I think that I can. Yes. So here in this little square, you see the complete um, exercise, and the words in bold are the verbs that you completed. So they are excellent. Yeah, let's write and repeat at home. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? You should have said something. You shouldn't have taken the money. Let's practice number two. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? I would have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Let's practice number three. I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? You should have taken the call and told the person you'll call back later. Number four, let's practice. We left all our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? I would have taken it with me. And thrown it away later. Okay, let me stop sharing here and we will get back to the presentation. All right, so here we are. This is the exercise that you already complete. And I think, well, for me, I think I have uh, the same um, pieces of advice for those situations. Um, do you think there's something different that you could have done in these situations? You can write it in your notebook. So let's see, for example, number one, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? I personally should have, uh, mm, I think I should have told the cashier about that and give the money back to her. What about you?
Number two, I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What would you have done? I would have done the same. <laughs> Number three, I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? And number four, we left our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? Do you have any different ideas from any of these four? Or you would have done the same? Hello, are you there? The same. Uh, teacher, what does mean? Campsite. Campamento. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Would you have done the same, Magdian, or would you have done anything different? I would have done, done the same. Yes, For right. Example, the number four. Mm -hmm. I would have taken it. With me, and what is past participle and throw? Throw. You just add n at the end. Oh, n throw. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, I usually <laughs> do the same. I take the garbage with me and throw it away, um, and later at home. All right, uh, so in this one, yes, you have to write. Um, let's see, All right. yes. You continue seeing my screen, right? Uh, so yes, in this exercise, I think that the same ideas for us, so we, we will have done the same thing, there's nothing different. And this one is a matching exercise. It says, read the situations below, what would you have been uh, the best thing to do? Choose suggestions and then compare with a partner. And this one, I think that you can do it in group and then we can change in the main section. Let me see what time it is. Yes, we can do this exercise. And after this one, I'm going to check attendance. And let me stop sharing and create the breakout rooms. I sent the presentation again before the class so that you can have it handy. Hello. Hola. Aquí está. Okay. <clears throat> the teacher borrowed my favorite book and I spilled the coffee all over.
I saw a classmate cheating on an exam. So I wrote her an email about it. Spoken to I will have waited for the owner to return. I wouldn't have. You should have. I sorry, I stand up. Eh, yo creo que la uno es la letra letter B. I would have spoken to the teacher. Mm -hmm. No sé qué dicen los demás. Esperemos, solo que... Mm -hmm. Sí, está bien la número, la letra B. Letter B. Sí. Ok. Creo que la dos podría ser la T, creo, no sé. Letra D. No, letra es, ajá. Sí. Bueno. She should have I would yeah. Teacher, what is hey. the mean Messi Messi yeah. number Messi. three? 
Ajá. This messy hair es un cabello desordenado. Ah, ok. Ajá. Cabello desordenado. Eh, la palabra mess yeah. es de, de, desorden, mess. <ríe> desorden. Y se puede ah. aplicar como decir una messy office, messy room, a messy house. <ríe> Wow, so I gave him a comb for his birthday. <laughs> That's funny. Podría ser la letter A. You should uh -huh. have spoken to him about it. Or, mm -hmm. or that could be letter G. I would have told her that I prefer something else. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so that's why then we are going to discuss with the other groups because I one or two options may apply for the same ones. Mm -hmm. It depends on you. What do you think? What would you have done? Creo que más de alguna aplica, entonces pueden poner... En lugar de las rayitas, no sé si pueden modificar contexto. Porque, por ejemplo, aquí en la del peine, a friend of mine always has a messy hair, so I gave him. Um, para no, ponerle las dos opciones. Ajá, para poner tal o tal, ¿verdad? Que pueden aplicar. Por ejemplo, I would have told her that I prefer something else. Podría ser una, la G. Or... Si sí, hay algo otra que pueda aplicar. Um, puede ser la, la A, como usted dice, poner A o D. Uh -huh. Las dos opciones que podrían aplicar.
Hello, partner. Why do you say is the number three is little h? Okay. I think it's uh, according to suggestion mm -hmm. E because um, the suggestion says uh, you should have warned her, warned her not to do to do it again. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry. I see that you're working and you're doing a very good job. And I just want to let you know that more than one is possible. So, for example, in number one, that teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over it. You select the letter B. I, have, I would have spoken to the teacher about it. And uh, probably letter D. I wouldn't have said anything. Or another possibility. Uh, you should have it change it for something else, for example. <laughs> Entonces, más de alguna opción, puede ser que pegue bien con la situación. Okay. Así que pueden poner más de un literal. Okay. Continue working, you're doing it good. Okay, thank you, teacher. So uh, I think the, the, the number three, maybe is according to letter E and H. Yeah, I think you are right. I hit someone's car when I was leaving a person. Luckily, no one saw me. So letter C, uh-huh. I would have waited for the owner to return. Or I wouldn't have said anything. Oh, you should have left a note for the owner. So those three can apply in that situation. I think uh, the situation number four may be uh, suggestion F. You should have left a note for the owner. That's correct. That's right. Teacher, what does yeah. mean wool, wool sweater? Es un suéter de lana. Uh, mm -hmm. Wool es lana. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. I, I don't... Horrible. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it could be letter E. You oh. should have warned her not to do it again. Um <laughs> well it's <laughs> um. in, in a good way, right? Okay. <laughs> your own your own answer. Okay, madre, no lo hagas otra vez. <laughs> Yeah, in a good way. Uh, yeah, it's nice that you're specific in that point in a nice way. <laughs> I'm good.
So yes, you can write E. You should have worn her in a good way not to do it again. Or another option. Uh, could be letter G. Maybe I would have told her that I prefer something else. Mm -hmm. Or maybe letter A, you should have spoken to, well, it could be her, but talk about it. Yes, uh -huh, because some people is allergic and maybe she she didn't know that, um, that he was allergic to wool, probably. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, people. Thanks, thanks. Okay, save your work. Guarden su trabajo, denle save o own screenshot. That's okay. Okay, everybody's back again. Let's see in breakout room number one. I had Carlos Humberto, Carlos Emilio, Cecia, Elizabeth, Janet, and Melanie. Would you like to share your answers? You can share screen if you want and give us your answer. Did you save your work? Eh, teacher, uh -huh. no le podía sacar el, la captura. Okay. Pero le tomé una foto, solo que no lo puedo pasar acá. No sé si solo lo puedo decir. ¿Cuáles respuestas pusimos? Ok, I'm going to share the screen for you. And uh, yes, so you can read here and Say what answers do you have? Yes. Is that okay? And uh, first, the teacher borrowed my favorite book and it's spilled. Spilled? Uh -huh. Spilled coffee all over it. Um, we think is letter B. I will have spoken to the teacher about it. Okay. And another possibility or just one? Just one. Okay, that's good. And number two, I saw a classmate cheating on an exam, so I wrote her an email about it. And I, we think is letter D. I wouldn't have said anything. So anything. Okay. <laughs> and, and number three. A friend of mine always has mess, messy hair, so messy I hair. gave him a comb for his birthday. We think it's letter A. You should have spoken to him about it. Okay. And number four, I hit someone's car when I was leaving a parking lot. Luckily, no one saw me. And we okay. think, let us see. I will have waited for the owner to return. Or letter F, you should have left a note for the owner. And personality, uh, for me, is let us see because. Yes, it should be responsible. Is, is the correct? Yes. And number five, my aunt gave me a wool sweater. I can wear wool, so I gave it gave it back. Uh, the options are letter G and H. I will have told her that I prefer something else. 
or letter H, you should have exchanged it for some something else. Aha, uh -huh. sounds like a yes, good options. Nice. You did a very, very good job. Thank you so much for sharing with us. I know that sometimes it's difficult with this um uh, these tools, right? But you did your best. Congratulations. And let's see. Um the, let's see the other room. Uh have a, let me check where in the other room. Okay, for the other room, we have Victor, Francisco, Catherine, Luis Javier, Matiel, and Abigail. Can you share with us? Did you save your your work? Could you could you share your screen? Yes. Your screen, sure. teacher, for sure. for I'll us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you have it. And situation number number one, the teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled it, spilled it coffee all over it. We think about it um, is according to suggestion letter D. Letter D? I wouldn't have said anything. Letter B. Oh, B. I would have spoken to the teacher. Oh, okay. Or, or on a, another option could be letter D. I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> uh huh. Both options are okay. Um, the next one, number two. Mm -hmm. I saw a classmate chatting, cheating, cheating on an exam. So I wrote her an email about it. We says uh, about it is a suggestion a. You should have and spoke it to him about it. Mm -hmm. What about B? Do you have B? Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Letter B. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? But another way, I think... I wouldn't have said anything. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or you should have exchanged it for something else. Mm. Uh, no, yeah. no. No, oh, that one probably not. <laughs> so we have the first three, they are okay. So good. And uh, let's see, number three. What about number three? Number three. A friend of mine. Uh, I think uh, it's according to little E because you should have warned, warned her not to do it again. Oh, yeah, sounds rude, but yes, <laughs> <laughs> that could be a good option because it's, it's, it's not, it was not a funny birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's a good idea. It's not a good idea to give someone a come for a messy hair. <laughs> so. 
Mm -hmm. Only one option for this one? Mm. Yeah, yes. Yes. What about yes, G? That. Yeah, I maybe. Have, uh -huh, I would have told her that I prefer something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. According to level F, you should have a left. You should have left a nut for the owner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or letter C. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. I would have white waited for the owner to return. Uh-huh. I would have waited for the owner to return. Okay. Uh, five. My uh, aunt. My aunt gave me a wool, wool sweater. Wool sweater. Uh -huh. I can wear wood, wool. Uh -huh. So I I gave it back. I think maybe according to age. No, no, according to E. E? Um, e and G. You should have warned her not to do it again. And G, I would have told her that I prefer something else. Mm. Yeah. Yes, those are two good options. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You did an excellent job more than one possibility it's okay and you consider most of them correctly so thank you so much for sharing now i'm going to check attendance for the first time tonight so i'd like for you to turn on your cameras if it is possible and say present as soon as you hear your names all right um Today is Tuesday, 23rd. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto, creo que me dijo que iba a estar como bien. Ahí está conectado. Ok. Uh, Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Gracias, Anticha. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mengiva. Present. Thank you. Yulisa Yamile Pialta. Eh, Yulisa Yamila Pialta. Carla Ivani Anaya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Okay, Luis, thank you so much. Veo que escribió acá en el chat. Thank you. Y aquí lo agregamos a la lista.
Let's continue with uh, Mario Ernesto. Present question. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Yane. Present teacher. Santos Cristina. Present. Thank you so much, Santos, Cristina, and Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you, Victor. And just continue sharing them. Okay, we um, completed this part. And in this one, I, I okay, we can do it here in the main section individually. I give you enough time for you to complete it and just get crazy. Okay, so we have been practice, uh, should have, and past participle of the verb would have plus past participle, etc. So we have this and we have to complete it using the same structure. We are talking about uh, things in the past that we would like to have change or make different. So we have some situations here and that first one is already done for us as an example. Diana, had dinner in a restaurant and then realized she didn't have in any money. She offered to wash the dishes. And then we have an example of what would you have done? I wouldn't have washed the dishes. I would have called a friend to bring me some money. Mm, that's a very, very nice idea. Now we have uh, number two. John was on a bus when the woman next to him started talking loudly on a cell phone. He asked her to speak more quietly. Number three, Bill invited two friends to dinner on Friday, but they came on Thursday by mistake. He told them to come back next day. Number four, Bob's neighbor had their TV on very loud late that night. Bob called and complained to the police. Number five, Ellen had a house guest, so who was supposed to stay for three days, but the woman was still there three weeks later. Ellen finally gave her a bill for the room and board. Number six, Susan accidentally broke a glass at a friend's house. She decided not to say anything about it. Now, for each of these situations from number two to number six, you have to write a suggestion or what would you have done or what wouldn't you have done in every single situation. You will have time to write your suggestions in your notebook and then share with us. Um, we can do it this in groups, so I think it is easier to share ideas. Eh, lo pueden hacer en grupos para compartir sus ideas o pueden hacerlo individualmente. Eh, voy a crear los breakout rooms eh, en caso de que alguien pues se unen y deciden si van a trabajar en trabajo eh, en grupo o si lo van a hacer individual.
teacher. Teacher, yes, hello. We are working um, single. Oh, you're working individually. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Francisco is is sharing your screen. Oh, he's sharing his screen so that you yeah. can see that. Yeah. Okay. okay.
Okay, let's listen to some volunteers. I'm sharing the screen back again so that we can read together and share what you have. So first situation in number two, June was on a bus when the woman next to him started talking loudly in a cell phone. He asked her to speak more quietly. What do you have, a volunteer? You can raise your hand. A volunteer? Thank you so much, my dear. He should, uh, he should have gone to far her. Far from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Far yes. from her. Excellent. He should have uh, looked for a seat far from her. That's the best thing. Yeah. Try to avoid um, those kind of situations. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you so much, my dear. Number three, Bill invited two friends to dinner on Friday, but they came on Thursday by mistake. He told them to come back the next day. What do you have? A volunteer for number three. What do you have? What would you have done? Teacher. Yes, Abigail. I think he should have explained that the invitation was on Friday, Friday, but that they were going to the order for food at home and who watched that movie and TV. Yes, as simple as that. Very nice of you thinking of that solution. Thank you so much. Michael, do you have something different? Or is the same? Yeah, no, I have another option. Okay, share with us, please. Um, He showed him, no, he should, uh, he shouldn't, have said that um or he would have invite invite them into him house into his house yeah uh-huh yes i think that he should have prepared um maybe some snacks and watch tv and don't ask them to come back the next day but yes, uh, thank you so much for your opinions. Number three, oh, sorry, that's number four. Bob's neighbors had their TV on very loud late at night. Bob called and complained to the police. What do you have? I think he showed her talking to his neighbors. Or if they don't listen, uh, he shall help call the police. <laughs> Excellent. That's the best thing. Talk first with them, and if not, if the situation continues, call the police. Nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Does anybody else have something different? No. Nope. Okay, so let's continue with number five. Ellen had a house guest who was supposed to stay for three days, but the woman was still there three weeks later. Ellen finally gave her a bill for her room and board. What do you have? I think she will have told him that she used the room with other people. Oh, uh huh. Just to ask, uh, to ask her to leave 
because you need the room, yes. And not waiting too much time. So yes, that's a good suggestion. Anybody else? Anybody else would like to share anything different about this situation? No? Okay, so let's move to number six. Susan accidentally broke a glass at a friend's house and she decided not to say anything about it. What would you have done? I think she should have talked to him in France <laughs> and she should have reparted all both others. Bless. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Nobody? Okay. Now we have been practicing writing. Now let's do a little bit listening. So we have one exercise here. Just let me show you. This is on your uh, PowerPoint presentation. It, it's this exercise, okay? But let me get the audio file so that we can complete this information and practice our listening, which is really important as well. Just let me get the audio for you. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Okay. Uh, okay, this is what we have. And I know that you probably have not printed the presentation. So yeah, I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to write the information in the chart. So you can draw this chart on your notebook and just write color one, color two, color three, problem and what did the caller did? I'll give you time for you to write uh, that chart on your notebook, and then we will listen to complete.
teacher. Yes. Sorry. Where is the audio? In the WhatsApp. No, no, no. Este no se los pude poner porque no, no puedo descargar en este programa. Él se los voy a poner cuando ya estén listos para llenar el chart. Oh, ok. Ya, yeah, you finished writing? Ya terminó de dibujar o de escribir, perdón. No, teacher, sorry. Ok. So, let me share the audio with you. I'm going to play the recording at least three times. Lo voy a poner unas tres veces para que completen de las tres llamadas. Recuerden, es, es color one, the problem, and what did the color did. Vamos a escuchar el problema y qué es lo que hizo la persona que llama. Vamos a... ¿Todos están listos ya? Yeah, I'll play the listen. Okay, I will play the out. Page 104, exercise 10, listening. I'm calling about... Part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's... she's dating an older man. Oh? How old are these two people? My daughter's 24, and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him, and... and now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still want to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello? Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had an accident. Where is your mother? She's away, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent an email to my father, and I... I told him... Well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I'm calling about a problem. It's kind of a personal problem, but it also concerns work. Yes, go on. Well, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago, and everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and I, uh... Well, I got really angry at one of my co-workers, and to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And what happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. He won't even speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry either. That's true, but what should I do now? You should apologize. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, that's another show. I'm Dr. Hilda. Join us again next time. Page 104, Exercise 10, Listening. I'm calling about... Part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda, 
a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's... she's dating an older man. Oh? How old are these two people? My daughter's 24, and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him, and... And now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still want to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello? Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had an accident. Where is your mother? She's away, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent an email to my father, and I... I told him... Well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I'm calling about a problem. It's kind of a personal problem, but it also concerns work. Yes, go on. Well, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago, and everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and I, uh, well, I got really angry at one of my co-workers, and to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And what happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. He won't even speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry either. That's true, but what should I do now? You should apologize. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, that's another show. I'm Dr. Hilda. Join us again next time. Did you gather all the information or you want to listen one more time? One more time, please, teacher. Okay, sure. Page 104, exercise 10, listening. I'm calling about part A. Listen to people calling Dr. Hilda a counselor on a radio talk show. Complete the chart. This is Dr. Hilda. Welcome to today's show. Now let's get started right away with our first caller. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hilda. I'm calling about my daughter. She's... she's dating an older man. Oh? How old are these two people? My daughter's 24, and this man is 42. Mm-hmm. I told her she had to stop seeing him, and, and now she won't speak to me. I feel terrible. Tell me, Dr. Hilda, what should I have done? First, you should have spoken to this 42-year-old man. You should have asked him not to date your daughter for a couple of weeks, to give the situation some time to cool off. Then, if they still want to see each other, and if the man seems like a nice person, you should let your daughter date him. 
You shouldn't worry so much about the age difference. Okay, now let's go to our next caller. Hello, caller. Hello? Uh, I'm a first-time caller, and, uh, well, my problem is that my father went away on a business trip, and I borrowed his brand-new car, and I had an accident. Where is your mother? She's away, visiting some friends. All right, go on. Well, I sent an email to my father, and I... I told him... Well, I told him someone had stolen the car. Oh, you should have told your father the truth. Your father would probably understand about a car accident, and he would be glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Oh, give it a try, young man, because the truth is always better than a lie. Okay, now let's hear from our next caller. This is Dr. Hilda. You're on the air. Hi. Um, I'm calling about a problem. It's kind of a personal problem, but it also concerns work. Yes, go on. Well, I invited some friends from the office to my house for a party a couple of weeks ago, and everything was fine until someone started talking about politics. Oh, you shouldn't have let the subject of politics come up. Well, it came up, and I, uh, well, I got really angry at one of my co-workers, and to prevent a fight, I asked him to leave. And what happened after that? Well, now it's caused a big problem in the office. He won't even speak to me. Again, you shouldn't have talked about politics at a party. It's not a safe topic. That's for sure. And you shouldn't have gotten so angry either. That's true, but what should I do now? You should apologize. Well, maybe that's a good idea. I'll give it a try. Good. Well, folks, that's another show. I'm Dr. Hilda. Join us again next time. Okay, a uh, volunteer, what was the problem for color number one? The problem number one, uh, the woman called to to talk about her daughter. It's dating for uh, for an older man. Mm -hmm. And what did the caller do? Um, I don't know. I didn't remember. Oh, no worries. Uh, I, remember <laughs> I, mean? I remember the doctor told the mother, uh, don't worry about age. Uh -huh, not to worry about the age difference, but what did the color do? Mm -hmm. What did the color do? Nobody has that information? Okay, you gathered some details and yes, that was very good, Carlos and Abigail. Now, you can see the answers here, right? The color one, the problem is her daughter is dating an older man. Yes, as Carlos said, excellent. And what did the caller do? She told her daughter to stop seeing him. And that's what she did. Now, number two, what was the problem and what the caller did? Anybody has that answer? What was the problem in number two? The caller have an accident um, with a new car, a new father, I don't know, father new car, I don't know, it's correct. The father's new car? Yes. And mm. what the caller did? He sent an email and explained 
Eh, that someone stole the car. Excellent. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, number two, he borrowed his father's new car and had an accident. He sent an email and said someone has stolen the car. Very good, Cecilia. You got the complete answer. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Excellent job. Uh, number three, color three, the problem and the what the color did. Did someone has that one? Number three. The worker is very uh, angry. And was he angry? Uh huh. The co worker is very angry. Uh, that's the problem. I... Uh huh. No, remember. Uh, he, had a, he had a personal problem. Mm, yeah, you have the idea. Anybody else? He invited the co-worker uh, to his house and he talked about politic topic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they angry with him. Uh-huh. Okay. And what what the color did? Nobody has that? Okay, you can see here in color number three. He had a party where the subject of politics came up and he got angry as yes at a co-workers and asked him to leave. Eso era lo único que faltaba que le dijo que se fuera, lo echó. <laughs> so yes. So you did a very nice job with the listening part. I know it's quite difficult, but that's why we, um, eh, es un poco difícil, pero no es imposible agarrar mucho detalle, bastante información de lo de listening. Y pues para eso hacemos estas prácticas, para ir desarrollando esa habilidad que también es necesario. Uh, vamos a chequear asistencia por segunda vez y luego pues ya quedamos libres por esta noche. Abigail Elizabeth. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Valmore Alexander. Carlos Emilio. Present. Thank you. Carlos Humberto. Present. Present. Aquí, present. Thank you. Cecia Noemi. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Ernesto. Present, Miss. Thank you. Eiser Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamile. Carla Ivania. Catherine Beatriz. Luis Javier. Thank you. Thank you, Valmore. I see that you wrote in the chat. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Yanet. Santos Cristina. And Victor Noé. Thank you, Marilyn. Ya veo que escribió aquí en el chat. So thank you so much for that. Okay, and... Eso sería todo por ahora. Eh, tiene sección 1.1. Matiel, si tiene alguna pregunta o algún comentario, pues 
eh, puede quedarse unos minutitos más. Si no, pues, eh, pues um, no hay problema. Could be tomorrow, teacher. I'm a tired. Uh, no. Teacher, no escuché que me mencionara su... Sí, los mencioné a todos. <laughs> Ay, perdón. No, pero no se preocupe. Yo sé que ya, ya pues, en los últimos minutitos ya estamos casi que dormidos, pero sí. Ahorita corregimos aquí. Gracias, Cristina, Marilyn y Víctor. Aquí veo sus mensajes y vamos a poner aquí en la asistencia. Ok, so thank you so much for staying. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. See you. Take care.